So I found this interesting site called uh, websim.ai. Um, and what it allows you to do is build websites on the fly using AI. So websim.ai, it's free to use. You could just uh, sign in with your Gmail, Google account. Um, so I'm logged into mine right now. So the last creation I did here um, was this marketing meme site. So I'll just show you this real quick and then I'll show you a new way that you can build a site. <clears throat> So this one I just plugged in and it's kind of interesting. Like you just use their um, browser and you can type in any, any .com, .co, .co.uk, whatever you want. Um, and, and it'll create something going off of the domain name. So this was one I did just marketing memes.com. Um, and it created this site instantly. You know, it has all these fake shares and everything. Kind of looks like an Instagram feed or something, social media. Uh, but it, it it's evolving over time. And if I go home, so if we go back to the main page, um, we'll see what the main page looks like now. It's a little bit slow. I think a lot of people are using this right now. So, um, but it's interesting, right? It's just the, the future of what's going on. And everything's generated with AI, all the images and everything. So, you know, it looks pretty good. You can actually uh, download this site so I can share it. I can actually download this site and then work on it locally um, and maybe upload it if I want, if I like the template or whatever. Uh, not quite sure how to adjust the template yet. I'm still kind of messing around with this. I found this yesterday, um, but super cool. So, I mean, there's a lot of interesting things, you know, trying to explain the metaverse to my boss. Um, you know, not not sure that some of these are, are bad. Some of them are interesting and good. Um, but it's interesting to see something like this generated instantly. Right. So the cool thing, too, is say we wanted a blog here. Uh, we could actually just come up here and add on to this so I could do blog. And now it's going to create the blog section and uh, we'll see what it comes up with. Like I said, it's taken a little little bit of time. So we'll just uh, hang out for a minute. So it's uh, loading now. Um, so now we have a blog section and you can see it actually added a button as well up here. And we'll see what it comes up with. You know, obviously some of the images are gonna be bad, but if you're able to, you know, it's, it's interesting just how good everything's getting quickly. Um, So see, it comes up with these full blog posts. Now let's see if what happens. So now it's going to take us to a new page. <clears throat> so now this page is in the system. So see, we're kind of building off of what we're building like instantly. Um, we can add a profile, we can add users, we can add anything we want. So it'll be interesting to see what people start doing with this kind of stuff. And um, I just thought it was super interesting. I did a game, we'll do a new site here in a minute, like I said, but I just wanted to show you kind of this, uh, how cool this is. So this is when memes go wrong. So this is this full blog post. <clears throat> Not sure who, uh, if this is a made up name, Mike, Mike Chin, the crisis management case study, um, June 10th, 2023. So interesting. Um, you guys will have to check. I don't know if these, we'll have to look and see if any of this stuff has been um, replicated or not, but they're using Claude. They're using the Sonnet 3.5, I believe is what it's called, AI, the LLM, but you can actually choose to use uh, GPT uh, for 4.0 um, and a few different ones as well to see what it builds. Um, but yeah, so it's got all these different case studies and there's a pretty good template really. I mean, you could pull this off and edit it, <clears throat> but let's go back and make a new, make a new site real quick. So you li literally can just come up here and say, we want to do like NFT pixel games.com. And then you just click enter and it's going to build something off of that name. And, um, <clears throat> there's, I found there's strings that you can add on to at the end. I would suggest joining the Reddit group. Um, that there's a lot of interesting information of what people are using for to build cool sites on here. Um, 
but yeah, so we got to wait a little bit of time again. A little okay, so that was a little bit quicker. And the interesting too thing, I built a few uh, when I was messing with it yesterday. Some of the games you could actually play. So we'll test this out as well. I think the only a couple of the problems that I did have was trying to figure out how to uh, you know minute, add in prompts to allow you to change the buttons and stuff for the games. Obviously, you're just going off of a domain, which is cool. But <clears throat> so we'll see. This is gonna take a little bit of time to load. I think. Yeah, here we go. So it's starting to load up the images. So this is uh, featured games, right? So we got the marketplace about frequently asked questions. NFT pixel games is revolutionizing the gaming industry by combining the nostalgia of retro pixel art games with the innovation of blockchain, uh, blockchain technology. So this is pretty cool, right? Like uh, if anything, it can give you ideas as well. Um, let's take a look. Uh, Crypto Invaders, NFT Miner, Pixel Legends. So match and collect rare NFTs. I don't know. Let's see what these do. So you'll you'll notice up here at the top, it's gonna it's gonna build another um, page. And again, this is all in real time. Like this, you can mess around with these. You can actually. Okay, I was doing um, like a random fact of every day. Every, every, every day, you know, that the current date, I think it was like a random fact for the current date every day. <laughs> and I built a whole site that gave, you know, interesting facts about things that have happened in history, you know, on yesterday uh, was when I was testing it. So I, I was reading all the things I created a blog was learning about things. Um, it was interesting. It was actually giving um, information of the sources as well. Um, so that was kind of interesting. You can kind of just learn on the fly as well with your own site, which is interesting. So I don't know what this is. Let's test it out. Let's see if it works. Um, so it looks like a matching game, maybe. I don't know. Again, you can't really prompt it to do anything. So I'm not sure exactly. Okay, so there was two match. So obviously there's no images yet. I don't know if it's still loading. Um, but again, if you downloaded this, you know, again, you can pull the code, you can download it and um, yeah, I mean, work with it. And if you were smart enough, um, you could get ahead and, and, you know, build some cool stuff quick. But um, that's just a quick overview of uh, websim.ai. Check it out, guys. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description. If you have any questions, let me know. But we diving into a few more um, things that I'm using for video as well, uh, in AI and all that stuff, but stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Subscribe. Cheers.